Eye on education, a cyber attack now on a school computer system. Hackers breaching the Broward County School District's computer system, and now it's demanding millions in ransom. CBS 12's Denise Sawyer tells us if school districts in Palm Beach County and the Treasure Coast should be concerned about this, she joins us live. Denise? Jim and Liz, there are local parents out there who are certainly concerned. So we reached out to every school district in our area to see how they're keeping your kids' information safe as we're all watching what's happening in Broward County. Cyber criminals on the attack. Hackers are threatening to release sensitive information stolen from the Broward County School District. <laughs> including students and teachers' social security numbers, addresses, and dates of birth. And to get the alleged compromised data back, hackers say the district will have to pay $40 million. This screenshot published online shows a Broward County school official negotiating with the attackers. As you can see in Broward, this is an exposure for school districts. Julie Sessa is the risk management director for the Martin County School District. We're prepared if we do have a crisis. It's a nightmare that could become a reality for any school district. It's, it's alarming. Paul McGinnis is the director of educational technology for Martin County Schools. We have systems in place that can alert us when something suspicious is occurring. Let's talk about your team, your team who's on the other side combating these hackers. We have a multi-layered proactive approach that monitors our systems every single day. In Palm Beach County, the district is also on the lookout for cyber criminals. In a statement to CBS 12 News, the district says, we use behavior analytics, signature and artificial intelligence based solutions to proactively block and look for suspicious activity. As for Okeechobee County, the assistant superintendent says we have an IT protocol for protecting our database information. We've been working with third party groups that provide best practices regarding protecting this information. Over in St. Lucie County, school officials say SLPS has multiple layers of safety protocols in place to mitigate computer security breaches. But in the case of a breach, response teams are ready. We would spring into action with our technology department and our other partners at the school district um, to make sure that we're mitigating the risk as much as possible. Because they know it only takes one click to trigger a widespread attack. Every single day are taking steps to ensure that it doesn't happen to our district. Now, students and staff are constantly trained on what to look out for when it comes to any potential hazards. Live in Stewart, I'm Denise Sawyer for CBS 12 News.